Today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make Mama's Meatloaf. This is a delicious, straight up old fashioned meatloaf that my family absolutely loves. To start, you'll need two pounds of ground beef, and I highly recommend using a lean ground beef. We'll add that to a mixing bowl, along with one cup of plain unseasoned breadcrumbs, some diced white onion, I only used half of an onion. To that, add half a cup of milk, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, which is always fun to say, one egg, and then you'll definitely need some seasonings, so we'll add in one teaspoon of dried basil, one teaspoon of dried oregano, one teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, and then I love to add a little kick with half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Then using clean hands, you're gonna get in there and mix it all up. I mean, you could always use a spoon, but you're gonna have to get in there with your hands eventually. Using your hands works really good because then you can get in there and really break up the meat and make sure everything gets evenly distributed. Then you wanna grab it all and transfer it to a lightly greased nine by 13 pan. Squish it all together and shape it into a free form loaf. You can also do this on a baking sheet or you can use a loaf pan, but I like allowing the grease a chance to escape. I feel like it gives a better overall result to give it a little room to breathe. Wash your hands and then we're gonna pop this into a 350 degree oven for 45 minutes. Now a meatloaf just isn't a meatloaf without a delicious glaze on top. We're gonna go simple and classic here with half a cup of ketchup, two tablespoons of brown sugar, and one tablespoon of a Worcestershire sauce, which packs just a super big punch of flavor. After 45 minutes, we'll grab our meatloaf out of the oven for a second. Just drizzle it on top. And then I like to use the back of my spoon to spread things out and make sure all of the sides of the meat get covered. Return it to the oven and increase the heat to 400 degrees and give it another 15 minutes in that high 400 degree heat so that the glaze can caramelize on top. This is so good. Ah, look at that, it's so pretty. Now you could always serve it up in the pan, but I'm gonna transfer mine over to a platter. We are ready for dinner. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow, and check out the rest of my videos, where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. Dinner!